Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video I will take a look at featured images in Avada. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. A featured image is an image chosen to represent a post, page or other type of content on a WordPress site. In some cases it's also known as a thumbnail. Featured images are a WordPress native concept, but Avada extends the options considerably. Let's have a look at how. By default, WordPress only offers the ability to add a single featured image on posts only. Avada has a much more flexible system, with a default of 5 and the possibility of adding up to 30 featured images on any single post, portfolio or page. You can also have a single featured image on FAQ items and events. With WooCommerce you can add multiple product images as well, but these are part of the WooCommerce post type and not technically featured images. Featured images are most usually used on blog posts and portfolios, so that a grid of posts or projects can be displayed, pulling the featured image. They are then often used again on the single post page at the top of the content. Let's have a look at how this works. I will start by looking at where to add the featured image. I will just go to Posts and edit one of the posts. I'll just head to the Page Options tab and then Settings, and we can see that at the bottom of this tab is where you add featured images. There's only one featured image added to this post, but as mentioned you can add more. But let's come back to that later. Now if I exit to the backend builder, we can see the featured image or images are added here in the backend builder at the bottom of the right hand sidebar. Ok, so that's how to add featured images. Now let's look at how to use them. Let's start with the blog page. So if I head to the blog page here, we can see there is a grid of blog posts. And these are the featured images of the individual posts we can see. They are being displayed on this page by the postcards element, and we can see that the blog grid postcard has been used to display them. So let's edit that to see how it's getting the featured image. Ok, so here's our postcard, and as you can see it's just the image element, dynamically pulling the featured image. If I just remove that, I can add it again to show you. I'll just click on the dynamic data icon, and here under post is the featured image option. And by default it's going to display the main featured image. Alternatively, you could select one of the other featured images. When making postcards, you can also use the postcard images element. I'll just add that under the image element here and then delete that so we can have a look. This element pulls the featured image by default, and there are several layouts. The default layout is static and just displays the first featured image, but the next two layouts are particularly useful if you have multiple featured images. I'll just add two more featured images to this particular post we are previewing here. Back in a sec. Ok, so by using the crossfade layout, the first featured image will crossfade into the second as you mouse over the thumb, just to be sure to use images of the same aspect ratio for this. There's also an image aspect ratio option here to ensure images are displayed in the same ratio. There is also a swap layout, which swaps between the first and following featured images as you move the mouse. You can specify how many swap images to use here as well. Finally, there is a rollover layout, which is also used on the blog element, for this to work, the Image Rollover option, found in the Global Options under Extras, Featured Image Rollover, must be activated. And here on this tab you can configure the rollover effects. So as you can see, the Postcard Image element is also very handy for featured images. Ok, I'll just refresh this page without saving, and we come back to our original postcard. Now apart from the actual postcard content, these featured images could also have been displayed in many different ways on this page using the postcard element. Here they are in a grid, but you also have other layout options including a masonry layout, a carousel, marquee, cover flow, stacking cards or a slider. So the size of your featured images when you upload them will also depend on how you are going to display them. A bit more on that later. And for more information on the postcards element layout options, See the postcard layouts in Avada video, linked below. Ok, so now let's look at how the featured image is displayed on the single blog post. I have a single post here, and the display of this is being controlled by a single post layout. If I mouse over Edit Live, we can see the four layout sections controlling this post. Now in this situation, our featured image is being pulled into the page title bar layout section as you can see here. So let's edit that. Ok, so here if I edit the container, and go to the background tab, and then the image tab, 
we can again see the featured images being pulled dynamically into this layout section. Now as container background images spread full width, it would have been important here to add a featured image large enough to display well at this size. And if I head to the media library and look at this image, we can see that it is 1440 pixels wide. So perfect for a laptop, and perhaps a little soft on a larger screen, but I'm on a 4K monitor here and it still looks good. But the main point here is that with regards size, you should always consider the largest size you might need when uploading a featured image. Let's quickly look at a couple of other examples as there are many ways to display the featured image in the single post layout. Here on the Avada e-commerce pre-built, the featured image is being pulled into the content layout section as the background of a column. So in this case, it would only ever need to be around 800 pixels. And on the Avada Recruitment Agency pre-built, it's again in the page title bar layout section, but again it's in a column filling roughly half of the screen, so perhaps a thousand pixels would be sufficient. Okay, that's the most common use of featured images, but you can also use them in portfolios, pages, FAQ items and events. Let's look at a way to use them on a standard page. Again, let's use the Country Butcher site for our example. As you can see here, the home page just has a header and footer, and otherwise the content is all coming from the page. But the other pages, apart from the shop, all have a title banner at the top, and it's coming from a page title bar layout section. So let's edit that to see how it's made. Now if I edit the container and head to the background tab and then the image tab, we can see that at the moment a static image has been inserted into this layout section, and so the same image is shown on all the pages that use it. But one way we could use a featured image, just like the blog single post, is to add one to each page and pull that via the layout section. So here I will just remove this image and via dynamic data I will add the featured image as the container background instead. OK, let's save that. So now if I edit one of the pages, let's add a featured image. The page title bar section now appears empty as there's no featured image yet, but the text is still here, it's just white. So I will open the page options and go to the settings tab and add a featured image here. I think I will choose this one. Now featured images on pages also appear at the top of the page. You can turn that off in the global options at Extras, Miscellaneous, Featured Images on Pages, or on a page by page basis, we can go to the Content tab and set Show First Featured Image to No. OK, so now we have a featured image on the page, but it's not displaying. But now if I save this page and refresh to pull in the page title bar again, voila. Now we have the featured image in the page title bar area, but just for this page. So now I have added featured images to the other pages, and as we can see, the featured image for that page is being pulled into the page title bar section for each page. OK, there are many ways to use featured images, but this should give you a good starting point to understand how to add them and where they are most commonly used. OK, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket, and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.